Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Sajid, and you're watching my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to start a new course which is CSS Cascading Style Sheets. Right? So, in this course, what we're going to do, okay, we will study CSS from you can say basics to advance and we will have uh, many videos and today it's uh, first video in which we will see what actually is this CSS thing right so let's start this is our chapter one and let's go to next slide okay so first of all as you want to learn CSS you need to know what is CSS. CSS is the language we use to style an HTML document. So before uh, I would say a, if you want to learn CSS you should know HTML, right? Why? Because CSS is used to uh, give a style to uh, one HTML document, right? So if you don't know HTML then uh, how you will understand CSS? I think I am asking a valid question, right? So first go gear, first learn HTML and CSS, right? Okay. Next, CSS describes how HTML element uh, should be displayed. Yeah. Uh, for example, if you have uh one html document there is one element maybe there's some heading right maybe h1 or 2 or whatever and as you know in heading you can maybe control the color or other font or many things of this uh, uh i mean the text which you are going to display there so these things like how that element should look you can control with CSS. So as we move forward, you will be for understanding this one. Okay, so as we just said, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. The CSS describes how the HTML element are to be displayed on the screen, paper or in other media. And CSS saves a lot of work. It can control the layout of multiple web pages all at once. Yeah, this is a very, very important point and external sheets are stored in CSS files. So what's happening because you have one HTML document which describes the structure of the document and then what you're going to do is uh, the style, the look of that document is controlled by CSS and that information you can store either in the same HTML document or you can store that in separate files which are called CSS files and for example if you have a large web page a website where you have very large number of pages there and you want to control the look and feel of all website from one place you can do that with the help of CSS. So rather than going to every element in HTML, every page, every document and make changes there in the display, how the element should display, which is a huge task if you have a large website. But what you, but CSS helps you uh, in this is that by changing, uh, like say, look of the elements at one place, to, uh, you make changes at one place and that takes effect on the whole website so that's the magic or the power of the CSS files so this is the biggest thing uh, which I would say uh, the advantage of CSS is that it can control the layout of the multiple web pages all at once so which is huge saving of time and work right Okay, so let's next uh, uh, let's uh, move to next page. So, what is the syntax of CSS? CSS, as we, you will see here, is the uh, you can say breakdown of the syntax. We have, I mean, it's not very syntax is not very complicated. It's very easy. 
and it has majorly two parts one is called selector and then declaration and in this in this declaration you will have property and values okay property and values so selector actually the selector points to the html element you want to style right for example here you have an uh, h1 heading uh, element and you are giving it the color and a font size right so what you have done you have in a css style sheet uh, you will uh, uh, write that you want to uh, select this h1 and then in its declaration which is in this uh, curly brackets you want to uh, define the properties of this uh, selected element uh, with different values right and different properties can be controlled okay so the declaration block contains one or more declaration separated by semicolons as you can see here we have a color property which now we set the value to blue and then there is semicolon next you have another declaration and that ends at a semicolon right okay each declaration includes a css property name and a value separated by a colon so as you can see the column colon here this separates the property and its value you have a property you have a value okay then you have multiple css declaration are separated with semicolon and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly brackets so as you know in css document uh, 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 or CSS style uh, sheet you can have many selectors and many and then uh, declarations for that and uh, each declare you can say declaration blocks are separated uh, with the help of some uh, curly brackets and then different uh, property and values are separated with semicolon and property and value are separated by colon so this is the simple uh, you can say syntax of uh, uh, style sheet so what actually you do like if, uh, what actually you learn in css that uh, for each because you know there are many type of elements in uh, html so on each type of element uh, what are its properties you should know that and what you can what values you can assign to them so that the display or look and feel of that particular element changes according to your requirement and not only this that it change the look and feel but you can do many advanced things for example you can do animation uh, as well you can control the uh, you can say uh, web layout and you can make responsive web design we will see what does actually um, uh, that mean uh, in upcoming videos so it's very powerful css and if you want to enter a web development field and uh, want to become a front-end developer this is the most important thing you need to learn along with html and of course then there if you want to do web development you need to learn javascript as well or uh, some uh, famous uh, javascript frameworks as well so uh, it's a journey to, uh, uh, towards becoming a web developer and uh, uh, this CSS is a major building block in that okay now, okay, now let's move to next slide okay here we are looking at an example so this is our example in this um, uh, uh, in this red area so this is our HTML document this is our body and then we have two p tags two p elements which are paragraph and in first one we are saying hello world and second one we are saying these paragraphs are styled with css now in this body we have these two elements uh, which are p tags or paragraph uh, elements and now you know in css we just learned that 
uh, we want to give style to these you know here we have not defined their color uh, you can see in this uh, HTML uh, elements no color information is given so but on the right side this is the result and you can see they are red colors so where is this red color coming from so see here we have this style information so as I said before we can write uh, CSS information or CSS code inside the web page along with uh, inside the elements or as a separate uh, tags like inside st these style tags or we can have separate files as well so here what we are going to do we are selecting this p tag by p and then we have this declaration you can say uh, area uh, where we have this block of declaration with the curly brackets and then we are saying this is a property color and value is red it's separated by colon and then we ending at semicolon so when we are writing the p tags all then what will happen all p tags in this web page their color will become red okay so here you can see hello world and these paragraphs are styled with css they have become red then we are saying text align center so in this case the text which we have written here that will be aligned to the center of the page okay right so so in this case p is a selector uh, in css it points to the html element you want to style right and color is the property and red is the property value then text align is a property and center is the property value so here the purpose was to give us uh, to just give you idea how css works so that was our first example and here i will uh, wrap up my video uh, I want to keep the videos short not uh, based, uh, very long based on hours and hours of duration uh, I will be dividing different topics into uh, you can say in different videos smaller videos okay so I hope this been uh, into informative for you you learn some new concepts and if you want to be master of CSS stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel and I will be bringing more videos right so till the time take care bye bye and Allah Hafiz